This is the Weather Extreme video. This is the afternoon edition for Monday, July the 7th. I'm James Spann. Rain chances increasing later this week. It clearly looks like the two better days for rain will be on Wednesday and Thursday, although some of you might catch a shower tomorrow. Uh, let's go take a look out the window with the SkyCam network today. First off, this is coming from Gadsden. The sky there mostly sunny. Just a few fair weather clouds in the sky. Up north, that's a look at the Tennessee River as seen from Decatur. And down south, a bright sunny day on the Alabama Gulf Coast. That's our sky cam at the Phoenix All Suites. And yeah, for the next several days, in fact, all the way through the weekend, we're expecting about seven to nine hours of sun each day on the central Gulf Coast with a few widely scattered storms. Not bad at all. Up on the uh, upper flow pattern, got a little trough developing up north. That'll push the surface boundary down this way, and we'll uh, see that with an increase in the number of showers and storms by Wednesday and Thursday. Don't think we'll see any drier, cooler air this time from the front. Temperatures around 90 in most spots, uh, ranging from 84 at Cullman to 90 at Muscle Shoals, Gadsden, and Alabaster. 92, the hot spot down south at Montgomery. We'll see highs pretty much in the same zone tomorrow. Then they'd back off a bit by Wednesday and Thursday because of clouds and showers. And speaking of showers, uh, that's what we've got at 248 this afternoon. Not a lot out there, but a little bit. A few showers over parts of Lamar, uh, Fayette, Marion counties in northwest Alabama gradually moving east. Most of you will not get rain tonight. Up in the watch warning map, got a flash flood watch for parts of Missouri and Iowa. And up in the northeast, that is a severe thunderstorm watch for parts of Pennsylvania and New York until 10 o'clock Eastern time tonight. There's the overall severe weather risk through tonight. The Great Plains up into parts of the Ohio Valley up into the northeast. Tomorrow, the risk uh, runs down into Arkansas and Tennessee, uh, places like Little Rock, Memphis, Nashville involved. And then on day three, which is Wednesday, there's no formal risk, but we do have the low end 5% severe weather possibilities across much of Alabama. So some of the storms on Wednesday could be strong, but organized severe weather at this point not expected. Average rain for the next five days, about one inch. This is valid through Saturday morning. The Atlantic Basin quiet and will likely stay quiet all week long as uh, very dry air covers much of the uh, Atlantic Basin. Of course, this is the big story over in the Western Pacific. This is Typhoon Nigori, and the good news, this is weakened. Uh, it was a super typhoon this morning. It's now a uh, the equivalent of a Category 3 hurricane, as it looks like some drier air is worked in from that uh, western side. Uh, this thing will be uh, getting pretty close to Okinawa uh, uh, late tonight, uh, again with top winds of 110 knots, then steady weaken is, uh, weakening is expected as this thing comes up toward Japan uh, through midweek. In fact, it should be down to 70 knots, a tropical storm by the time it reaches uh, uh, Japan later in the week. So thank goodness the uh, uh, weakening process has already started, and that's good news there. Uh, let's take a look at modeling. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid tomorrow at 1 o'clock local time. This is at 500 millibars. You can see the troughing north of the state, and down below that there is a surface boundary uh, scooting down into uh, Tennessee. And again, that might bring a little increase in the number of storms over the northern third of the state tomorrow from Cullman North. Uh, for the southern two-thirds of the state, the day should be relatively dry, and the high should be like today around 90 in most spots. Wednesday, the front gets closer, and uh, that should bring a general increase in showers and storms to about the northern two-thirds of the state. Not going to rain all day. Uh, but there might be a strong storm involved Wednesday afternoon, maybe a heavy downpour, and the high should drop back into the upper 80s. And Thursday, the boundary in no hurry. Uh, it's uh, located roughly along the Tennessee River, so uh, maybe Huntsville and the Shoals could be a little drier, but for the rest of the state, a good chance of showers and storms. The sky <laughs> occasionally cloudy on Thursday, and again, the high would be in the mid to upper 80s because of the clouds and showers. And then Friday, drier air tries to work down into the I-20 corridor. And if indeed that happens, the day would be relatively dry for Tuscaloosa, Birmingham, Anniston, and points north. Chance of scattered showers and storms over the southern half of the state. And on Saturday, an upper ridge begins to expand in from the west, so the uh, front should dissipate. And down below that, uh, you know, Pretty standard-looking stuff there. Could there be a shower? Yes, but they should be widely spaced on our end of the state. And the high would be at or maybe just over 90. I think the model guidance is way too hot. It's been too hot all summer long. It's suggesting mid-90s, we're thinking, highs closer to 90. And the same thing on Sunday. Pretty decent amount of sun. Uh, could there be a shower? Yes, but they'll be fairly widely spaced. And Monday of next week, 
Some evidence the upper ridge begins to weaken somewhat. That might open the door for a little bump in the coverage of showers and storms early next week, but that's a week away, and it's hard to identify small-scale changes in the summertime. We'll check the end of the forecast, July 23rd. The uh, core of the upper high is out west, broad troughing over the east. That's suggesting maybe some surface boundary stalling out around here. And the good news, through this period, through July 23rd, we see no sign of any super intense searing heat waves around here. And that's a good thing. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us this evening on the live stream of the television side, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 o'clock. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless.